Right, okay folks, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing video to show you a new uh, microphone I've built, I've bought to go on the new camcorder I bought. I bought one of these new brilliant 4K Panasonic camcorders called a VXF990. Uh, and as with all camcorders, the wind noise is a terrible problem. You get this horrible <laughs> noise whenever you're filming in windy conditions. The wind just blows straight over the microphone makes this terrible noise blocking out the actual noise of things you want to film, such as planes or wildlife. So, bought an external mic. The one I've gone for is this Rode VideoMic Pro, which my mate uh, Elliot recommended to me. And quite frankly, I haven't got time to spend loads of time choosing a video mic, so I've gone with my mate's advice. So, let's just film the box for you. 10 year warranty. Excellent. So I believe you have to send off a card or fill in a form online to get rid of the device. Now, Cintia's battery. I can't remember my mate telling me about putting a battery in it, but apparently that you do have to put a 9 volt battery in this. So let me just film all this. I'm not going to film this at reading speed, so pause the video if you want to read all this. So it tells you what it can do noise reduction wise. 70 hours use from one battery. Okay, it's, it's there in a few different languages. So that's what it'll look like. Let's just have a look on the bottom. Don't need to film my own serial numbers. Designed and made in Austria. Oh, Australia, sorry. Australia, okay, I didn't know it was an Australian brand. There you go, I've learned something new. Right, so there's the box. Here it is in its plastic case. So let's just take it out of here. Hold on a sec. Alright, so let's look at this. Okay, so it's the, if you see how my fingers press it in, sponge. It's got that funny rubbery plasticky smell to it. Very squishy, soft sponge is what what's on the top of it, the main part of the microphone. On the back you've got the buttons. That's for the noise reduction, the one on the bottom, the one on the top I presume is for turning it on and you've got a little LED light there that would come on if powered on. Okay, hanging on to the left hand side you've got a cable which goes into the side of your camcorder. I'll show you where that goes in a second. And then on the bottom of the road, microphone is where it'll clamp on to the camcorder. If you can see that, that bit would slide on the camcorder and then use the wheel to, to tighten it up. Um, now, where is it? Somewhere here where you, you, you open this up. Let's have a look if I can see. I believe it's on the front. You've got a little bit that you open up in order to put the battery inside I think it's on the on the front here can't quite see I'll have to read the instructions so I don't break something but anyway yeah you, there's a bit you flip down in order to put a 9 volt battery goes inside this to, to power this I was presuming the camcorder would power it up but apparently no you need 9 volt batteries so here's a little card that comes inside the box quick start guide yeah register online in order to activate the 10 year warranty. 10 years is very good, I would say. Okay, oh there you go, they're explaining how to do it. To remove battery cover, push up on the incidental, eh? So anyway, you push up on that, then pivot the bottom of the cover away. And then again, it's filled in a few different languages. Insert battery negative side up. Replace cover, hook the top clips in, press the bottom into place. Okay, so there's a guide on how to put the battery in. And it's in two languages on the back. Oh, the right way. How to mount the mic. Yeah, they show you about turning the wheel. The new camcorder I've bought has got that shoe on top of it, so it'll slide on top of that cable clip 
Ensure cable is secured in the clip to reduce handling noise. Okay. Uh, and then here's the, there you go. Microphone off, microphone on. Flat microphone on, HPF. High pass filter. To remove low frequency noise such as rumble. Okay. Have to experiment with that, see what works. Okay. And then the bottom one is the decibel level control. So that'll explain. Right, right, so that's it. That's all you get. That's the little instructions you get. So that's that. And oh, I'll show you the price of these at the end. Not cheap. Um, and included in the deal, I, I bought this and it came with the deal. This dead cat is included. Another road product. Furry windshield for video mic pro. So this is designed to go with this specific microphone and the dead cat is one of those grey fluffy bits of material um, again to help reduce wind noise let's quickly take this out of the packet watch you don't stab yourself on the staples on the box when you take this out that's quite sharp okay and then this attaches with velcro my mate showed me so let's have a look yeah, there we go. All right. So just on the end, you've got a little bit of Velcro. And then this would slide over that, basically. So it'll look something like that. Okay, and then secure the Velcro so it doesn't go flying in the wind. But that basically, oh, it feels lovely and soft. Dead cat. <laughs> That's that. And then last thing I need to show you, um, because this requires 9-volt batteries, I've bought four 9-volt batteries. And the ones I've chosen to go with, a bit more expensive than most 9 volt batteries you buy, but they come with a micro USB charger port on the side built in. And they come with, each one comes with its own USB cable, that's the normal USB size. And then that's the micro USB end that goes into the battery. So, and then obviously you're going to need, let me show you, you're going to need some of these um, plugs you can get on eBay for about 99p. Okay, so you put one one end of the USB cable in that, the other end in the battery, and that's how you charge them. So like I said, these UK 3-pin plugs like this for iPhones, SJ cams, GoPros, everything, uh, they're about 99p each. You're going to have to buy some of these, unless you've got USB sockets on your wall, if you've got a brand new house or something. But anyway, that's how you would charge them up. Let's just film these for you. It all seems to be written in, I presume that's Chinese and not Japanese, I don't know. Zen Zenta is the make it says there, but that's not the name of what I bought online, I'm sure. Let's just film the back for you again. Can't read any of that, that's of absolutely no use to me. No use whatsoever to me. They're just showing you how to plug it in. Yeah, okay, nothing is written in English on those, that's not good. So, four of those, so four cables, and now I'll show you. Well, let's show you first the camcorder I'm going to put everything on to. So, new amazing Panasonic 4K camcorder. Like that. And then it's on the front left. You've got a microphone slot. Open that up. And then the Rode microphone would be going there. On the side, flip up the top windshield. And get the hot shoe I think they call it, that bit there, and you'd have to put the camcorder down while I do this. Slide, Let's see if I can get that in there, slide the road might put it onto the top there, so I haven't attached it, I haven't screwed it on tight just, but this is just to show you, give you an idea, okay so you get the idea, it's pretty big compared to the camcorder, rear view like that so you got you're adding a bit more weight to what you're holding um if you're using 4k you're probably going to be using a tripod to keep everything steady if you're, if you're trying to get really good footage so that's what it looks like and it's got these this is the weirdest thing i've seen it's designed to actually move around can you see that it doesn't keep i guess it's so that the wind can move this microphone about i don't know well i don't know i have to read up on that and why why does this road 
then why is it designed to bounce around? You see, it's just like suspension. It can go down, up and down, and side. It can twist around. It's designed to be like that. I don't know why. Um, I have to ask, ask my mate, see if he knows. And that's what it would look like from the front. And don't forget, this is with the dead cat off it. Dead cat would make that bit on top look even bigger. So it's going to look fairly bulky. But if it helps reduce wind noise, brilliant. Okay, so that's what it looks like. As I said, this is these are not cheap, but I'll I'll tell you a trick to get stuff cheaper. Go to a website called camelcamelcamel.com, register an account, and then they, they sync with your Amazon account and they will show you the price of a product over over time. So you'll be able to see whether or not you're buying a product at a low price or a high price because prices on Amazon seem to change by the day for a lot of products. They're, they're constantly trying to find the highest price they can sell a product for. So prices change all the time on Amazon. So it's a good idea to, well, don't simply don't only shop on Amazon. Look on Amazon, look on eBay, then use Google Shopping. I would I'd recommend looking for at least three different places before you buy anything thanks to the internet it's possible to do that i think that looks really good okay right now i'll show you the prices um prepared to say ouch because these are not cheap for what they are anyway camcorder alone was 630 pounds and it used to be 699.99 until a couple of days ago before i bought the camcorder right so yeah it's a different name so Ecavia is the name I was told these batteries were, but as you saw on them, it's different. The colour's right, but why does it say So Ecavia? Anyway, £29.55 for four. 400 ma is the capacity, as in how long they will last. A lot of AA batteries are, say, 1,000 ma capacity. Um, but they were saying that these batteries, well, the microphone should last for 70 hours on a 9 volt battery. That could be 70 hours on a 9 volt battery that's say 600 mAh, so I'll have to see how long these actually last. So 29.55 for that. Um, next thing, yeah, 139 pounds for the Rode VideoMic Pro. And 27.31 for the decade. But like I said, those two were combined. So 140, 150, 160, well, yeah, 166 pounds I paid. Those two products were sold together, not separately, as they seem to be showing. Okay, so that's what they're called. And that was, I bought them on Amazon. I couldn't find them cheaper on eBay, and I couldn't find them cheaper on other shops using Google Shopping. And the price has been around that £166 for the last few weeks, so I couldn't wait any longer, so I've gone and bought them. So there you go. External microphone for quality camcorders. Dead cat to go over the microphone to help reduce wind noise. Nine volt batteries that are, I've got USB ports on them so you can charge them. And that's just that's just accessories for the camcorder. So and also get yourself an external warranty for a camcorder. Uh, John Lewis have one that costs about 30, 35 pounds. Amazon have started selling their own branded ones. They seem to have done away with it. Used to be a really good company called Square Trade. That sold extern, uh, extended warranties for products, but they they seem to have stopped selling them on Amazon. So Amazon have their own product now, and uh, PC World have their own extended warranties for about five pounds a month, on top of the price you pay for the product. So whatever you do, if you buy a camera or camcorder, get an external warranty, external microphone if you want to block out as much wind noise as possible, dead cat, batteries. Then you're going to need a tripod, get yourself a really good make. Um, yeah, alright, that's enough, that's enough. So I hope that's been useful to you. Click like if you like that, subscribe to me, look at all my other videos, I've got thousands of videos of wildlife and aviation, and ask me any questions. Thank you for watching, bye bye.